Earlier in the day, I had a chance to interview Ricky O'Kane and then Gordy Gong to see what they had to say about tonight's fight. Let's roll tape, fellas. Uh, is there anything that you would like to say to uh, your opponent or to the public? Well, for all you diehard kickboxing fans out there, watch real close. Because the mongoose is here and it's showtime. Well, I uh, mean, Tom is in for one hard fight, nine rounds, and it's going to be, I think it's the uh, really excellent fight. I thought I'd win it. Tell him I'm going to win. Tell him you're going to win. Tell him I've already won. Okay. This semi main event now, the fifth battle of the night, featuring Gordy Gong, the North American lightweight champion from Abbotsford, Canada. That's why you see the Canadian flag with him. He'll be opposed by Rick the Mongoose O'Kane from Los Angeles, California. These two welterweights, 147 pound division, for the North American welterweight championship. Yeah, Joel, Ricky O'Kane is uh, trained and handled by Ruben Nikitas from the Jet Center and is a very strong fighter. Matter of fact, a lot of the people in the business feel that he will be uh, winning the World Welterweight Championship someday. And he's got a very, very heavy body attack, so we'll be looking for that. All right. I'm Joe Butita, along with Carlos Palomino and Blinky Rodriguez. We certainly hope you're enjoying the show. It's been a dandy so far. Coming up in just a moment, the semi-main event to be followed by the main event, Benny the Jet Eukides against Tom LaRoche. All that yet to come. There is a delay at the moment. There are no gloves for Gordy Gong. Somebody's gone to get the gloves, and here they come now. Rick O'Kane is all laced up, and we'll see him in just a moment. Rick with a record of eight and three, six by knockout. He is from Los Angeles, California. Gordy Gong, the North American lightweight champion. So he'll be trying to defend that championship tonight. He has a record of 19-7-1 with six knockouts. He's from Abbotsford, Canada. How popular is kickboxing and uh, full contact karate in Canada? It's very popular, Joe, as well as I think it's become very popular in other parts of the world. Let's talk about its, its origins, though. How long has kickboxing been around? Because it's fairly new to America. It's been around for about 200 years in the Orient, Joe, but uh, we've remodified it here in the United States some 12 years ago so that we can display a, a whole variety of different techniques. Also, Joe, the tag game of the martial arts has been around in the United States for some 25 years. Who knows, maybe even longer. Some of the innovators of the tag game are like Chuck Norris, Ed Parker, and Mike Stone. What tag game are you talking about? I'm talking about the non-contact of the face traditional karate tournament. I see. And have you found in your travels that the American public, the North American public, is really getting involved with the sport? Most definitely, Joe. I think the sport has really developed quite a following. On top of that, uh, I think the fighters themselves have really come a long way as far as being able to put their hands and feet together, you know, without falling off balance or looking sloppy. And by the way, Gordy Gaunt comes in here with that type of style where he's able to adjust to uh, anybody's uh, fight plan. So I'm expecting Gordy to come in here and really be a technical fighter. Blinky, how old would you suggest a young fellow, girl or boy, be when they start kickboxing? Do you have to be uh, five, six years old, or can you start anytime? Actually, Joe, five or six is a little young for full contact, but it's a perfect age to start them in the traditional karate of self-defense. Welterweight championship fight, the champion Gordy Gong of Abbotsford, Canada, the challenger Rick O'Kane in the black trunks. O'Kane, eight and three, six knockouts. Gong, 19, seven and one with six knockouts. O'Kane is from Los Angeles. J. 
jab with the front leg, some wild swings. There's a sweeping attack. Oh, yes, Ricky O'Kane has a tremendous sweep kick down low. What's the purpose of the sweep kick? That's to keep your opponent off balance, too, and also to wear down that leg. A lot of guys will also, they'll come back and they'll, they'll, they'll hit you high after kicking you low a few times. So basically, that's what it's used for. Well, Kane seems to be wanting to just work low, and he's coming right back with that left leg up high. So it looks like he wants to go low and then come back high with the left leg. As you can see Gordy's trying to counter it. Kidney kick by O'Kane found its mark on Gong. O'Kane, well, Joe, uh, is a much better fighter than his record shows. He's had an extensive uh, amateur career. This fight has more style than the previous one with Hackleman and Archie. But just like a boxing show, Joe, I mean, the, the premium fights are usually a little more sluggish, but now we're talking about more experienced fighters, and you got to remember another thing is that they are fighting for the North American Championship. Seems to me like O'Kane is trying to stalk uh, Gordy and, and, and corner him on them ropes and go back to that body attack that he was working on earlier. Both fighters pretty much feeling themselves out in the first round, and that's the end of round one. Here we have Ricky O'Kane seeming to want to force the action. He wants to make something happen early. All right, round two about to begin in this semi-main event for the North American Welterweight Championship. The champion right now, Gordy Gong of Abbotsford, Canada. The challenger, Rick O'Kane from L.A. in the black trunks. Round two. Oh, Gordy Gong coming with a couple of combination kicks and right back with the left hook. All right, O'Kane catching those blows with his arms, finally tying up Gong. Gordy's starting to come down low now and uh, late sweeping uh, O'Kane. And O'Kane better start catching him and checking him now. Let's talk about this. Carlos, uh, in traditional boxing, you're looking at the man's arms and upper body. Blinky, in kickboxing, you've got, a, you've got four weapons to watch out for, the legs and the arms. What do you watch? What do you concentrate on? Well, Joe, you got to be able to concentrate on all four weapons because any one of the four can hurt you badly. Good sweeping kick by Gon. Got O'Kane off his feet. Well, Carlos, you know what it feels like to get beat on the arms after four or five rounds. Your arms get kind of tired. You imagine these guys getting the legs in that position. They really uh, fatigue the legs with those kicks. Hold up. Referee stepping in and separating them. Both fighters are just really trying to fill each other out, Joe, and see exactly what each of them has as far as punching power and, and technique. Ricky O'Kane coming in with a lounging sidekick there. No damage done. We're talking, of course, to Carlos Palomino, a very popular fighter, and Blinky Rodriguez. Uh, expert in full contact karate. Do you think you'd like to try this? Or if you were younger, Carlos? No, I think if I had to do it all again, I would have stayed with boxing. All right, end of round two. Round three coming up in a moment. Yeah. And we have a spinning back kick that Ricky O'Kane just threw. It just barely missed. The, the thing is, when you all throw right, that spinning back kick, down. here you'll notice O'Kane, when he spins, he'll spin to his right, and he'll be looking right over that right shoulder and trying to send it home to the body. We're in the corner of Ricky O'Kane. By the way, his cornerman, Ruben Nikitas, one of the best cornermen in the business, being that he's traveled all over the world with different fighters. It's so important for that cornerman to be sharp in that corner, Joe, because he's kind of like the coach on the sideline sending in the plays. He sees flaws in the opponent's style that, uh, that the fighter might be able to capitalize on. Round 
on three. O'Kane in the black pants, swinging back fist by Gong, missed the mark. Gong in the blue. He's the champion. This goes O'Kane right back down still to the left side of that body of Gong. And uh, I know that body attack got to be taking some toll because Gong keeps wrapping up. There he goes again, left hand. Look at the welt on the back. Look at the welt on the back of Don, fellas. Under his right shoulder blade, he's got quite a red welt, maybe from the ropes. Nice right hand over the top by O'Kane. Gong seems to be a little hurt to me for some reason. A nice combination kick by O'Kane there. And Gong comes fighting right back out of the corner now. I think Gong, when you hit him, then he wants to come back with something. Oh, and, he, and, and Gong goes down with a left kick to the bottom. He's been wearing down that left side gone since the beginning of the fight and the referee's giving him the mandatory count. Gong is hurt and the referee looking into his eyes trying to get an answer. And he's going to let the fight continue. Left hand by O'Kane did the damage. There's a back heel kick. And that found the mark. Partially blocked by Gong with the gloves. Remember now, Gong in the blue is the champion, O'Kane the challenger. And that's the end of round three. As we see here on our slow mo monitor, Gong tries to sweep kick O'Kane, and O'Kane comes right back with a nice left hand of the body that puts Gordy down. Hey, blocked it, blocked it with a glove a little bit, too. Yeah. Here we go now, round four. It's been a good fight so far. This one's scheduled for nine. Gordy Gong in the blue, Rick O'Kane in the black. Gong, the champion of the North American welterweight division. O'Kane hurt. Gong in the last round knocked him down. He was down for the count of nine and appeared to be kind of groggy until the end of the round. Nice roundhouse kick to the head by O'Kane. That just shows that Gordy Gong is a good conditioned fighter and he's not going to stay down that easily. Spinning back kick misses. The following right kick found him up. Both got the same idea going down low with them leg sweeps. They're trying to keep each other off balance. Boy, that spinning heel kick is quite a weapon, isn't it, Blinky? Yes, it is, Joe. It's probably the most devastating kick in any fighter's arsenal. We saw that in the uh, first bout where Francis Farley KO'd Richard Woods with a, a kick just like that. That really does some damage. and the kicks. Yeah, Gong is seeming to tire now. I think those body shots of O'Kane are starting to take their toll on him. Come on, Rick, you got him! Uh, Gong trying to land a, a lead leg hook kick to the head of O'Kane. Didn't land, though. Coming to the end of round four. Oh, good left hook by O'Kane. And that shook Gong, and at the bell, the end of round four. Yeah, just about. He really he really had a good shot that time. So four rounds in. Right now, it appears uh, Rick O'Kane is the aggressor and may be leading on points at the moment. As we look at our monitor, we see Gordy Gong going with a left roundhouse kick to the body of O'Kane, and O'Kane coming right back 
trying to work on that left side of, of Gong because he knows he hurt him earlier with it. Right there, he goes right into a crossover side kick, knocking Gong against the ropes and coming right back with a stiff left hand. Here we go later in the round. O'Kane catches Gordy right on the chin with a crisp left hook, and Gordy is hurt. Here we go now, round five, scheduled for nine, North American Welterweight Championship. The champion, Gordy Gong from Canada in the blue slacks, Rick O'Kane in the black pants. Got him in the groin, O'Kane apologizes. Nice gesture by Rick. Gong going back to that sweep attack. And O'Kane stalking him. I think uh, his corner sent him out there to finish Gong this round. Back kick by uh, Gong just barely missing. That's a dangerous kick when it lands to the, to the rib cage. Another back kick. Oh, beautifully timed right hand by O'Kane. That's a second knockdown. The champion down again for the second time in this fight. Got to the count of eight, and he's up. For the second knockdown for Rick O'Kane. And a sweet knockdown, Joe. That counts as a legitimate knockdown, uh, just like if you were knocked down by a punch. It came from the outside and took the legs right out from under Gordy Gong. Third down at a time, he's been down in this fight. Where's that back? Ooh, that back he to the right side of Gordy Gong's body, Joe. It's all over. Kane going for the upset. He's the challenger in this welterweight division. <laughs> Round five about to come to an end. Round five, and still it appears that Ricky O'Kane from Los Angeles is in the lead. Okay, let's take a look at Ricky O'Kane here, administering some punishment with a series of combinations yeah, to Gordy Gong. <laughs> I think we're on camera there, fellas. Say hello. Even the two round girls are evenly matched. <laughs> <laughs> All right, round six coming up. This one's scheduled for nine. Gordy Gone, the North American lightweight champion in the blue pants against Ricky O'Kane of Los Angeles in the black. And O'Kane, I would think right now, as I see it from my vantage point, fellas, uh, might be a hit on points. Would you agree with that, Blinky? Whoa! roundhouse kick to the head of Gordy Gong. The entire fight, O'Kane was going low and low into the body, and then he came out in that sixth round and figured it was time to go up high. Here we got another angle coming from a uh, far distance, and you see that round kick just whipping right around and catching Gordy, sending him to the canvas. Well, now we know, uh, Rick, why they call you the Mongoose. Congratulations on an upset victory. 
That's it. Okay, thank you. Well, tell us about the fight. Well, first couple rounds, I was a little tight. I was, I'm, I'm still a little tight in my fights, and uh, I just started loosening up. My quarterback is excellent. He, he, he kept telling me to uh, set him up with my kicks and just keep kicking. I didn't get my kicks in a couple of the rounds, which was a bad mistake. And I was a little tense. I was rushing a little bit. But then I controlled myself and I relaxed. And uh, a few of uh, my kicks, techniques, and I saw him drop his hands. He was getting tired. And he was circling to the left. And I saw it early as he started circling to the left. And I just timed him with a right round kick Tell to the head. Ricky. And that knocked him. Gordy, uh, God, he seemed to be a cagey uh, opponent. He, he was, seemed to be like a counter. He'd come in, and he'd get out, and he'd, he'd move here and there. You seemed to be on the, trying to track him down all the time. How'd you find he uh, slow him down there? I think the body shot slowed him down quite a bit first. Ricky, congratulations. Go get a shower and keep it up. Thank you very much. Okay, fine. Ricky O'Kane, the new welterweight champion.